Warning, the hidden camera stunts in the show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. So, you're planning a special dinner for family and friends? Nothing says tasty like a fresh lobster dinner. Attention all shoppers, lobster special. Two for one, pick your own. There's a really big one in there. I call him Shrimpy, in, in the back. We got to reach our hand in there? Yes, they, they ain't got no, you got you tip? You got something? Oh, yeah, we have up? some. If you want some, we have some tongs right on the side. Oh, OK. Try not to poke Shrimpy too much, because he gets mad. It's OK. <laughs> Try not to poke Shrimpy. <laughs> How you feeling? How you feeling? I don't know how to feel. I feel like someone was trying to get out at me. I was scared. <laughs> was it a good time? It was a good time. It was a good time. It was a good time. Yep. I'll never forget it. But why me? <laughs> 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 I just walked the prank. The prank. <laughs> <laughs> Again? Who keeps texting you? My mom. She's got a big date this weekend, and she keeps asking what I think of different outfits. Oh, she looks like a chimichanga. I'm just texting back, LOL. I'm actually going on a date this weekend, too. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. No, I'm serious. How? How? I'm going to drive and meet her in my car. No. I mean, how does she agree to it? Has she met you? No, I met her through an online dating site. Oh, that's where my mom found hers, too. It's how old people date. <laughs> the guy sounds like a grade-A weirdo. He wants to take her to a magic convention and then go ballroom dancing. <laughs> hey, that's not weird. That's why I'm taking my date. Oh, please, no. Oh, please, yes. Wait a minute. Is your mom's name Gloria? That's her middle name. What's her screen name? New Kids on the Block fan, 1978, and I only know because I've tried to delete her account many, many times. That's her! <laughs> this can't uh, be happening. Holy crud! Uncle oh, Will is dating your mom! This can't be happening. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Bailey, you really gotta stop saying that. It's getting annoying. It's all I can think about. Uncle Will can't go on a date with my mom. It's too weird. You know what's even weirder? If they get married, we'll be cousins. <laughs> Dusty, don't say if they get married. Sorry. When they get married, you get to come to our family reunions and listen to my Uncle Al talk about how the government can read his mind. Hey. How's it going? Pretty good, just spending some time with my cuz. What's up with you guys? You don't look so good. Yeah, what's wrong, guys? You look like you just found out Uncle Will's dating your mom. Mom fired that girl Cheryl who babysits for us. She was the best babysitter, too. She let us do whatever we wanted. And she threw great parties. Why'd they fire her? She threw a great party. She invited a lot of friends over, and they trashed the place. Why didn't you guys stop her? We couldn't. She locked us in the garage. So, no more babysitter. What do you care? I care because they're thinking of hiring old Miss Edna from down the block to babysit us from now on. Is she worse than my grandma babysitting? All she does is make me watch Home Shopping Network while she files her feet. I hear old Miss Edna makes kids go to bed at 7 o'clock because she thinks they get sassy after 8. Why did Mom and Dad have to fire Cheryl anyways? Who says you can't have a party while you're babysitting? You know, the best parties happen when the parents aren't at home. Hey, Pranksters. It's hard enough for a babysitter to watch one kid. Now let's see what happens when they have to watch 20. Let's get this party started. Yeah! How are you? Nice to meet you, too. You? Thank you for being here. And here's our unsuspecting target now. Meet Veronica. She thinks she's here for a quiet night of babysitting. This is gonna be fun. This is Dusty. Hi. Veronica. And this is Herman. Herman? Had no a little games. bit of a rough week. He, he needs to do homework. He got some yeah. bad marks in school this week. So no phone either for him. And, cool. But we won't be gone too long. Yeah. I love you, boys. Love you, too, Mom. Be good. Thank you, Veronica. OK, thank you. How are you? Good, how are you guys doing? Great. So after about five minutes of small talk, it's time for Herman to see if the coast is clear. 
And after a quick look out the front door, it's time to get this party started. They're gone. They're gone? Yeah. Great. Hey, no phone. OK, I'll put it away. Let me just make this one call. Hey, they're gone. Um, the coast is clear. OK, it's on. What are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing. What they're talking about, Veronica, is about to blow your mind. <laughs> seconds ago, there were only three people here. And now there's 30. And every kid knows the party isn't complete without plenty of sodas, snacks, Yo, somebody turn up the music. dancing, and of course, destruction. <laughs> so stunned, she's not even trying to stop the party. That just gives us more freedom to be creative. the parents back in at the perfectly wrong time. Hey, guys, I left my watch. Hey, guys. Let's see how Veronica talks her way out of this one. Hi. I left my watch. Uh, oh. <laughs> <gasps> what? Um, <laughs> what happened? Uh, <laughs> Is this funny? No, it's not funny. What um, happened? Um, <laughs> Where are the boys? They just ran away. They ran, ran away? away? No, 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 no. <laughs> they didn't run away. They ran upstairs. Um, I was gone five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so clearly, Veronica's having a hard time explaining what happened to the house. This Let's see if she handles some leftover party guests better. Hello. Hi. Are these your friends? I don't know why they're here. No, the, the, you invited your friends I over? I absolutely did not invite my friends. These so girls. To throw a party in our house. No, no, no. Slow down. T tell me what happened. Herman ran away really quick. You think Herman knows these people? That's why I'm confused. Um, who do you know? Who are you people? I don't know. I don't know what happened. See, who are you? I just want to say thank you for a great party. Oh, really that's so funny. No, 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 no. No. Um, Wait a minute, no, so you please. did throw a party. Are you lying? You're lying to us. No, I'm not lying. See? You know what just happened? They, excuse me? You just walked the prank. to worry about the uh, breaking stuff. The kids <laughs> breaking well, I mean, like, stuff. Well, I mean, like, what was going through your mind when everyone was breaking everything? Yeah. Uh, they're going to not believe me. Like, uh, what is this what little kids do now? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I, like, I can't even catch my breath. I just walked the prank. <laughs> oh, that's my kind of party. Total chaos in just under two minutes. Yep. Hey, guys. Hey, how's everything going with the babysitter hunt? You still stuck with old Miss Edna? Nope. Turns out she's busy this weekend. Yeah. Turns out Edna's booked to watch Bailey while her mom's out on her big day. <laughs> 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 Coming up next on Walk the Prank. This is all hot! This day! Warning, the hidden camera stunts on this show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. Remember earlier when we pranked these two ladies with our oversized lobster shrimpy? <laughs> well, some folks are harder to prank than others. Take Matt, for example. <laughs> Hello. 
You just walked the prank. <laughs> you just walked the prank. <laughs> now, either Matt is still in shock after being attacked by a three-foot claw, or he thinks he's hit the mother load of all lobster. Let's try again. Hey, hey man, you on a hidden camera show. No way. Yeah, you just walked the prank, bro. Hey, give him a hand, give him a hand, give him a hand. <laughs> what were you feeling when it popped out? I was like, whoa. <laughs> I just walked the prank. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> Well, what are you looking at? I haven't been on a date in a while, so I'm memorizing interesting topics for conversation. What do you got? How the weather's been really dry lately, what video games she's been playing, and who she thinks would win in a fight, T-Rex or a vampire? <laughs> T-Rex, no contest. Yes, contest. A T-Rex is like an eating machine. But a vampire just fly around and bite him on the neck. Exactly, and he would turn into a vampire Rex. Way more powerful. Big mistake by the vampire. Oh, man, you're right. Sounds like this date's gonna go great. <laughs> I think so. Guys, can we please not talk about this right now? I still think it's weird that Uncle Will's dating my mom. You know, that's a really rude thing to say. When I'm your dad, your mother and I are really gonna work on your manners. Gross, stop! Mm -hmm. Gonna be a lot of changes around here. What's so bad about having Uncle Will as your dad? That would be awesome. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird. Will is my friend, and to think of him and my mom... Will? You have to promise me you're not going to kiss my mom. Well, it depends. <laughs> Let's say it's the end of the night and we're at your front I door. I can't listen to this anymore. Where are you going? La, 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 la. I gotta go burn my ears off. Bailey, Abigail Schuster, don't you slam that door, young lady. And she oh. slammed the door. She's a good kid, just going through a phase right now. Yo, Dad just texted me. We got Sleepy Shannon to watch us this weekend. That's great. She can't tell as soon as the parents sleep. We can do whatever you want. Yeah, personally, I was hoping for, I'll let you watch an R-rated movie if you stop staring at me, Jessica, but Sleepy Shannon will do. Happy Friday, everybody. Got you guys some almost the weekend goodie bags to help the last few hours of school go by faster. Uh, thanks, Dusty. It's sour Slams, Atomic Face Crushers, popcorn. There must be like $20 worth of candy in here. Yeah, well, I'm rich now, and I just wanted to give something back to the community. <laughs> Candy bars, people, making it rain. Uh, uh, wait, how are you rich now? Grandma, <laughs> I told you, she's a sucker for that home shopping channel. She just sits around all day and orders junk, then feels bad about it and gives it to me. What are you gonna do with it? Well, I opened up a shop here at school. Split the profits with Grams 50-50. Dusty Marts is officially open for business. <laughs> Everything must go. All sales are final. Let's hear some offers, people. How much is the necklace? This necklace can be yours for six easy payments of $29.99. I don't have that much. Well, what do you got? Um, about $14. I'll take that. Throw in those shoes. Uh, okay, okay. Sold for the one-time payment of $14 and a size six pair of tennis shoes. I'll give you $20 for Katie's shoes. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is Walk the Prank. We've got a fun prank coming up today. We've hired a host for our new home shopping show. Are they going to be able to sell these? My newest piece of junk. I mean, art. So Dusty Mark gave us the great idea to start our own TV shopping show called Shoppers Nation with Uncle Will as the show's producer. You're gonna be helping us out as a host, right? Uh, yeah. All right, great, great. And here's our target, Phoenix. Phoenix is an aspiring actor who's here to fill in as our host today. But he's never done a shopping show, and he has no idea what he's about to sell. But this should be easy. Shoppers Nation. We're gonna be selling stuff. Have you ever sold anything before? Okay, great. It's not about experience, about personality. We're going live, so don't worry about mistakes. Just want to keep going. You got some questions for me? Uh, what am I selling? We got some pots and pans. We got a kid's corner and some paintings. Oh, and wind chimes. I love wind chimes. Do you like wind chimes? Yeah. Now that Phoenix knows what he's selling, we're going to teach him how to host a shopping show in about a minute and a half. We have the cue cards. We're going to go through a rehearsal of that. So not only will Phoenix have to read cue cards, but we've given him an earpiece so Uncle Will could give him directions during the show. And after a quick run through, it's time to show Phoenix my awful art. And by awful, here's what I mean. 
because these paintings are terrible, as anyone can clearly see. And just to kick up the pressure a bit more, we introduced Phoenix to me, the artist, and to my dad, the owner of the network. And we think my paintings are fantastic works of art. This is a big day for us because uh, this is the debut of my boy's work. Goes without saying that art of this caliber should fly off the shelf. All right, let's clear. See you later. We're going live. So now it's showtime. With Uncle Will in his ear and the owner of the network watching, the pressure's on. Good luck, Phoenix. It's time for Shoppers Nation. And here's your host with the most, Phoenix. All right. Down, Phoenix. Go. Hello, and welcome to Shoppers Nation. I'm your host, Phoenix, and I will be your tour guide on this very special journey to savings. Time to sell some wind chimes. Walk over to it. Let's start with these beautiful Shady Lanes handcrafted seasonal wind chimes. It's perfect. And if you order in the next five minutes, you can get the whole seasonal set for only $39.99. Blow on them. And. And they're very functional, as you can see. Make all of them make sounds at once. So Phoenix is pretending to be calm, completely unprepared, and basically a deer in the headlights. And now it's about to get worse. OK, let's go to the kids' okay. corner artwork now. So now it's time for our kids' corner. Wait till you see this beautiful and eclectic work of art done by a very talented budding artist. It's a canvas original painted by Chance Baldwin, who just so happens to be the son of one of our station owners. And here we have the artist of these beautiful pieces of work, Chance Baldwin. Hello. Hey, Chance. How's it going? Great. Painting has been my long life ambition. And plus, my dad was a painter, so it just runs in the family, and it's awesome. I hope I can be better than my dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so, too, Chance. Awesome. Now, remember, Phoenix thinks this is live TV. And so far, he's doing a pretty good job. But now let's see how he handles some not so complimentary phone calls from actors we've hired. We got a phone call, say that. Oh, I think we've got a phone call. Caller, you're on the air. Uh, hey, are you guys like serious? Uh, are you like actually selling this on actual TV? Cause like that painting looks like it was done like by a third grader. You know, those paintings are done by one of my favorite artists. And I think it's kind of offensive that you would. Uh, it was done by a fifth grader. That you would even bring that up. Um, but please tell them we just, don't want any more rude callers. Please, if you're gonna call in, uh, just have uh, good manners. Thank you. All right, great. Got another caller. Great job. You're on the air, caller. Hello, I have good manners, and I feel whoever decided to put that painting up for sale should be fired. That's how I feel. <laughs> Defend the kid. Defend them. Don't let this crash. This is this is terrible. This is terrible of you Tell to say this. Because this kid, this kid right here is an amazing artist, and I firmly believe in his talent. Shame on the people calling them like, like this. Sh shame on these people calling like this. We got one more caller. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say that I've, I've been watching, and I, I disagree with the last callers. I mean, that painting, that is special, and mm. I would love to buy a print. Yay. Excellent. I actually I have a perfect place for it in my house. Oh, it's, nice. uh, it's in the trash can. <laughs> that painting stinks. Um, <sighs> you know, hey, look, your art is great, man. Don't let these guys get you down. What a great guy. Phoenix is sticking up for me and my awful art. And remember, he thinks this is all happening on live TV. I guess there's only one thing left to do. Is this all? <laughs> yeah. This. This is. This is all I had. This is all. Oh. Hey! This stinks! Oh my gosh! So bad. Go to commercial. Go to commercial. Hey, Phoenix, so come on. You're the host. You run things. Oh, run so things. Bad. I don't know what to do. Hey. See, oh, hey, buddy, 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 calm oh, down. Oh, calm oh, down. Oh, calm oh, down. Oh, You'll be all right. You'll be all right. These kids. Oh man. Bring it together. Get in control. What is going on? This is beautiful work. The network is in your hands. Please, son. Hey, son, hey please. Calm down. Calm down. It'll, it'll be okay, man. Don't don't worry about it. Don't let these guys get you down, man. Right? Explain yourself. What do you think? What do you what are you thinking, man? You, you right? You just walked the prank. What? <laughs> <laughs> the prank show. It's a prank show. It's a prank show. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Super nice. Dude, you had a prank show. You were amazing, Phoenix. How you feeling? <laughs> uh, a little shaken up, but um, it was fun, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for protecting me, man. I'll, I'll, I wish I could have done better. I wish no, I could. no, you did you awesome. Did, man. I just walked the prank. So, 
What happened? You've been killing us all day. How did your date with Bailey's mom go last night? My mom wouldn't give me any details, so I need to know that nothing happened. <sighs> I'm a gentleman. Some things are private. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Uncle Will. There is no escaping. Fine, I didn't kiss her. You didn't? Then what happened? Tell us! <sighs> Halfway through the dinner, she said she had to go to the bathroom. Then she texts me from a cab saying I talked about dinosaurs too much. Impossible. Can't be done. I know, right? Well, it's her loss. There's someone out there for you, Uncle Well. I don't know who that person is or if they actually exist. But if they do exist, you're gonna make that lucky person really, really happy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go outside for something really quickly. 